hot cocoa bombs are totally last year. 2020 bogged us down. We are tired. Why don't we make hot latte bombs with instant coffee? Let's get into it. What is up? My name is Ryan. How we doing? So we all know the trend of last year on TikTok was hot cocoa bombs. You take the cool little ball, you pop it into a cup, boom, it becomes an amazing eruption of marshmallows, chocolate is good. And I still think that this trend has some legwork. What I'm thinking about doing is instant latte bomb. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, it's still going to be a hot cocoa bomb in all theory, but it's also gonna have some instant coffee in it, and we're gonna be doing a bunch of different flavors. So if you've never seen a hot cocoa bomb tutorial, this is your tutorial for you. Should I show my failure? I should show my failure. I really screwed up. When one thing starts breaking, I then panic and try to do all these extra steps that are unneeded. So this is my first hot cocoa bomb. As you can see, stuff is still coming out of it. Not good, not good at all. It's, it's, it's awful. I watched like 12 videos and I think we got a better solution. I'm mixing all of the things that I like together into one video. So we're gonna be doing that today. Now, first things first, before you even get started, you wanna get yourself a hot cocoa bomb kit. It comes with hot cocoa, all of that stuff. But you really want the mold. Now, a lot of these kits are sold out, but they're gonna be the cheaper way to get it. A lot of the molds by themselves are a little bit overpriced. I'm gonna be putting links to a hot cocoa bomb kit and also to just a standard mold kit in case that kit gets sold out in the links down below. So now that we have everything set up and ready to go, first up, I have some melting chocolate. Now it's already solid now because this is from the last time I did it, but we're not gonna waste any food here. So what we are going to do first is we are going to pop this guy in the microwave, a total of a minute and 30 seconds. It's a little bit colder here in the basement, so I'm probably going to do about two minutes and a minute at a time. All right, so while that's nuking up, we're gonna prep this guy. Now the easiest way is getting some canola oil or just basically a flavorless oil. You can also use avocado oil, I think is pretty flavorless as well. I'm using a paintbrush to just make sure that like I don't put a ton of mold because we don't want this to be an oily type of chocolate. We just want just enough to like pop it out when we're done. We got our chocolate, it is melted. So what we are going to do now is we are literally going to take half a tablespoon, right? We're gonna take our brush, move it around, and we're gonna try to keep it in a very thin layer. We're gonna do this one at a time as well, just so that way, like if it's set, it's good. Now the big issue that I had last time, I did it without doing this brush technique. I got this brush technique from Nerdy Nummies. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording here. What I'm gonna do is finish these guys, let them dry, do another layer, and then we're gonna be back with just finishing them off and getting fill and we got it it is not pooling at the bottom which is awesome one thing I did do by mistake is I started putting chocolate in when it was still really really cold but not the best move hopefully we still get the results we want on these guys so we're just gonna tap them <laughs> look at that this is the bad one that I screwed up on and it's Perfect. So obviously we are going to be doing a set of three, but we're gonna be doing a set of three in each of the flavors. For the peanut butter one, I'm gonna be using the Sweet Tooth Fairy Meltables peanut butter. Salted caramels, they have a salted caramel flavor. And lastly, for the peppermint mocha, we have these white chocolates, but we also have these peppermints right here, which are super awesome. We are going to make the outside shells of those now and then we are going to come back into how to fill them and make them all beautiful. I will see you guys when I have three more sets of shells, all of the different flavors, and we are gonna get started. See you guys in a bit. guys came out so freaking good. Peppermint, I did a little bit differently. The reason why I got it so speckled is because I actually took pieces of crushed up candy cane. I put it at the bottom of the mold before I put in the white chocolate. I let it sit and then did one more layer to make sure that it was covered on both sides and it came out so good, so shiny, and that's really awesome. Now's the time we fill it. I'm just using an old, uh, it was my pumpkin spice thing. I now do it to like hold random odds and ends, but we're gonna actually use it today to hold down our chocolate spheres to then put in all of the stuff. We're gonna start off with the basic mocha latte ball. Now what I have here 
is the Godiva chocolate. We're gonna take that, we're gonna put it in. Now we put in our instant coffee. I'm using Starbucks medium roast, and I know this is more of a hot cocoa bomb thing. I still like marshmallows. Okay, we have our three bottoms done. Now we're going to fuse them to the top. Now I have melted dark chocolate. Normally what people will do is they'll throw it on a hot surface, get it kind of melted, and that will be their fusing thing. I personally feel that you can just take your guy, pop him in here, get him a little bit you know, situate it and just pop them on. So you're gonna take that brush that you use to get everything in their molds and you're just gonna spread around the chocolate. Now, if any of you are being like, hey, Ryan, your chocolate looks a little bit darker, it's because I switched the chocolates. If you have a problem with the chocolate switch, hit subscribe. That's how it works, right? That's how you get uh, subscribers as you do everything wrong. Perfectly, perfectly, perfectly spherical. And there you go, that's your hot chocolate ball. I'm gonna stop touching it though because it's really sensitive. Now I'm gonna pop these guys in the freezer. We're gonna do our next ones. I got what I forgot. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so sweet, so. Don't cry, don't cry. You know what they do to cry is in the gulag. How good things. Okay, we made it. Now the salted caramel, we are going to be doing it the exact same way. Okay, these are going in the freezer, and now we're doing the cool one. Alrighty, for the peanut butter one, we're going a little bit different. So we do start off with our base, but now we're finally gonna use our peanut butter powder. Just a little bit. Oop, 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 it's melting. Alrighty, so last one to prep, but simply not least, is going to be the peppermint one. So we're gonna take our guy, coffee, in. Hot cocoa, shut up. Hot cocoa, in. Shards of candy cane. Top. Add your marshmallows, then we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna dip it in some melted white chocolate. I know you're probably saying to yourselves, Ryan, this is such a precision paintbrush for the last one. Why didn't you use it for the others? <laughs> didn't think about it. Alrighty, so we have our drizzling chocolate. Well, that is that. We have our cocoa bombs. They're good to go. They, they work great. Wait, what do you mean we have to test them? I, th that makes no sense. We're not gonna test them. They look good. I don't wanna break a good thing. Okay. Could you heat this up for me? Is it done yet? All righty, we will be doing the sacrifice of the peppermint mocha I decided to not decorate because I knew one was gonna be a sacrificial and I didn't have enough tins, so yeah. Three, two, one. I see a hole, I see a hole. Ah, it's a friggin', oh yeah. I should have put way more <laughs> It did explode though. Without a moment ado, the peppermint mocha. Oh my gosh, holy cow. What? Is this a real latte? No. Would I recommend you guys make this? Absolutely, especially if you're tight for money this holiday season. Giving somebody the gift of caffeine is absolutely amazing. And look at these guys, they're absolutely beautiful. They go great with a freaking cup of coffee. Oh wait, it is the cup of coffee. And that's why you should get it this holiday season. But with all said and done, we're done. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you guys for learning how to make these and thank you for having faith in me for these videos. I can't believe it happened. Uh, if you guys want more detailed stuff, uh, check down below. I'm gonna have the specific recipe and links to all of these types of chocolates. Yes, there are affiliate links. Always reach out to me on Instagram, on TikTok. I will happily help you guys out. Drink better coffee, stay awesome, and peace out. Boom. You know what they do to criers in the gulag? Not good things.